السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم ٹو حسیب الیکٹرانکس فرینڈس دس ویڈیو از اسپیشل ریکویسٹڈ ویڈیو فرام ون آف مائی ویور فرام افریقہ ہی سچ آئی ایم اے گڈ فالوور آف یور الیکٹرانک ویڈیوز اینڈ آئی نیور مس واٹ ایور یو اپلوڈ بیکاز یور ویڈیوز آر ویری مچ ایجوکیٹو اینڈ ایزی ٹو انڈرسٹینڈ آئی ایم ریئلی تھینک فل فار یور ویلیوبل کومنٹ اینڈ آئی ایم آلسو thankful for every viewer who watch my video and appreciate please help me in repair of this flips home theater dvd player i have replaced top 258 en with top 247 yn that's okay then replaced 180 pn with tny to 76 replaced main capacitor and main fuse and now getting 5 volt output voltage that's good the dvd is able to power on and cd loader is opening and problem is with t531 which is not giving 33 volt output okay let's see i tested all the components and found them that to be okay except c534 which is showing open when tested it is htd 3510 home theater dvd player and let's see the circuit diagram how it is working another request friends i am not a youtuber and uh, it is not my, my profession to vi- make videos on youtube i am sharing my experience maybe someone can take benefit and if my videos are useful for you you can subscribe if you want i don't want any subscription i don't need any like or any comment i not, don't need i just become happy when i see your comments and when you make dislike it's up to you it uh, does not affect just only it is my humble request to every viewer if you want to dislike my video please leave a comment what was the reason if any information i am sharing wrong you must make some correction because if you know something that we should help others if you know that these words this sentence this argument is wrong so it will your great help for people and maybe if you will send a comment maybe it will correctness for me i am also learning from your comments your feedback so kindly if you think this video is not good you should dislike but just only it is my request just let me know what was the reason and i will specially i will thankful and i am thank i am thanking in advance if you will point out my mistake point out my problem i will thankful and i also appreciate many people make comments sir this was your mistake so i am really i become happy so let's start here is c501 its input connector and here is fuse alternative fuse and f901 f f602 this is two for different models then here is ntc 3 ohm 5 ampere and tr90601 then we have here mov voltage arrestor then here we have filter coil capacitor resistor rlc filter then we have another filter search protector after that we have bridge rectifier two rectifiers here if we see here the left side left side is coming to first bridge and the second bridge a right side coming to first bridge and second bridge number 4 pin of two bridges are at same point bd501 bd502 pin number 1 is connected to each other alternative capacitors for different models different boards so we are taking output at these filter capacitor bulk capacitors 100 micro farad 400 volt are alternative there is 
450 volts so set of two capacitors this or this and my friend he is facing on this portion this I see okay let's look at this power supply this power supply have two portions the first is standby section the lower side this is standby section the upside this is high voltage section low voltage section is giving 12 volt and 5 volt and the high volt ampli amplifier power supply that is giving 33 volt yes 33 volt output our friend 258 with top 247 he replaced this IC this top 240 258 has been replaced with top 247 okay we will check and he also replaced this switch 179 and this section is working he is taking the voltage that's great how the system is working if you look at this point from this section from this left side this AC voltage these AC voltage are brought here at R509 504 to this point here is D507 diode this rectifier it is coming here to charge this capacitor CE505 this capacitor and here is also a switch regulator switch so we will find the voltage that is soft start voltage for this IC at pin number 2 pin number 5 6 7 8 are connected to main ground so here soft start voltage VCC voltage received at this IC so when this voltage will arrive here this IC will start switching why the bridge started to rectify the voltage and pin number 4 is connected to T501 T501 upper end is connected to if we see left side HV high voltage where is that this high voltage is this point at this capacitor so high voltage 300 volt 300 plus volt are connected at this point so this ground is applied to pin number five six seven eight pin number four that is drive pin so this IC will make a start soft start when it will make soft start the current will flow in primary at that time we will take voltage in the output when we will take output it will rectify we have two sections here in the output D511 or D513 it is two set this or this then filter coil and we have output here that is 12 volt at pin number one the second section the secondary here we have diodes here this secondary from pin number 10 it will rectify the voltage and we will take these voltage from this point inductor this capacitor this capacitor 510 and we will take 5 volt in the output the same time these voltage are applied to this network here is TL431 this is 431 and here is in parallel there is 5V1 5.1 volt regulator BZX79 C5 V1 the same time we are taking the pulses here from R518 and R519 this is voltage divider network to apply reference at pin number one pin number three of TL431 will apply voltage to optocoupler LTV917S so this optocoupler will 
conduct when the pulses will reach here feedback pulses when the voltage level is maintained because it is sensing 5 volt 12 volt here it is sensing 5 volt so this section is feedback loop so we will take voltage at pin number 1 that is enable or voltage sense feedback at that time we are taking this ground line will connected and these ripples will connected to this pin number one to adjust the pulse width so we are taking output and the same time from auxiliary winding we are taking voltage from here 10, point, 10 volt at 47 microfarad capacitor c504 and these voltage will applied to the pin number two in the start we take voltage directly rectified voltage from d507 if our system does not start we have to check this section r509 1 mega 1 mega 2 resistor this diode two two resistors two transistors sorry 501 and 502 these are regulators and they apply voltage to ce505 now in parallel section because these were soft start voltage and now we started to receive VCC voltage from this IC sorry this winding and our this IC will start switching and continue working here is protection network from FR107 in the same time when this power supply is working there is another path D516 this is STY standby voltage this is feedback voltage this is auxiliary winding keep in mind when this IC will work we will take output from the secondary side and the from primary side these voltage will reach at the control pin here that is R562 4.7k resistor we have here this IC top 258 first of all we have to look top 258 en he replaced top 258 top 258 with top 247 top 258 en so top 258 en is here that is 105 watt top 247 247 yn so 230 volt YRF it is 85 watt so it is 85 watt we can say it should work now we have to see the X pin because this top switches it have double frequency this top ICs approximately this top switcher family offline switcher family it is working like this it have control pin control pin is basically VCC pin multifunction output multifunction input sorry and here is frequency pin F pin is 66 kilohertz and 132 32 kilohertz 132 is bar if we connect this pin F pin that is pin number 3 if we connect this pin to ground it will work at 132 kilohertz and if we connect this pin to control pin VCC pin that is 66 kilohertz if level is down it will work at 132 K so here is frequency pin in this pin connected to ground source pin that is 132 kilohertz connected to VCC that will adjust to 66 kilohertz X pin here input pin of external current limit adjustment remote on off X pin is remote on off a connection to source pin disables all function on this pin if the X pin is connected to ground this IC will turn off now let's see here here is X pin S S is source that is connected to ground F pin that is connected to ground that means it should work at 132 kilohertz and x pin that is remote pin 
if we come here explain how is it's working if we come here from top side from 300 volt from these two resistors it is connected to x pin and then 500 rs 560 through d561 it is coming here and it is making a node at this point and here is some note remote on off standby mode q561 561 or q561 d561 off d562 on we have to monitor the x pin if pin x is taking zero volt that means this ic should go in disabled state as we discuss here a connection to source pin connected connecting to ground pin will disable this ic now read our, our, this argument here check voltage at x pin if x pin is taking zero volt with respect to ground that means we have some issue in this portion this point d562 d561 q561 we have to check these components with respect to this 10 volt signal this transistor is actually working as on off so we can test we can remove this transistor remove this transistor and check if there is no problem the voltage should appear at x pin it have voltage at v pin that is str pin s pin that is connected to ground then d pin drain pin is connected to transformer and transformer upper end is connected to the main HV, HV side, high voltage side. Now, we received VCC voltage at VSTR pin at V pin and at the same time the X pin the X pin that is control pin that is enable pin. If it is connected to ground line how it will connect it to ground line? It will connect it to ground line through this Q561 when it is connected it is connected it is operated by remote now when it will disabled we will take voltage at x pin that means this ic should work f pin is connected to ground so this ic will work at 132 kilohertz if f pin is connected to c pin that time its frequency will limit it to 66 kilohertz this ic should work when it will receive command when this ic will start switching from this d pin drain pin it will drive this transformer secondary it will give output and we have here are two diodes shown here normal working the second is alternative and here mention trans transformer if t531 is connected in the board or T5311 may be available this or that this or that we will receive voltage at output capacitor here at this uh, 533 C533 and the same time we have 12 volt regulator here 79 C12 Zener regulator where is connected it is connected to power up to bias up this optocoupler now we have to see this feedback loop when we start receiving voltage at this capacitor there is 2.9 micro Henry filter and after that we will receive voltage at C535 meanwhile we are taking the pulses from this point this is DC level offset level to make offset level and here we will receive pulses feedback pulses now we have two resistor in series R544 and R546 these two series resistor will divide voltage to give a feedback 
to set a reference at pin number one same time here is a word written op let's go to op at op there is a r571 tell 10 milli this resistor is for current sensing these two voltage for, for current measurement these two voltage are applied from both side of this resistor are applied to LM358 single supply differential amplifier single supply differential amplifier this will make this will calculate the difference of this resistor how much current is flowing from this point because it is connected to this ground power ground so how much current is flowing from the secondary it will measure at this resistor and at the same time this voltage will apply at pin 3 and 2 4 and 8 are VCC pins 4 is ground 8 is VCC check voltage at pin number 8 if you will find 5 volt here that means this IC should work this is 8 pin IC actual and it will sense that how much current is flowing now it will give a output pin at pin number one this pin number one is connected to this diode 14149 through this resistor and here is word op let's go to pin op op is connected here it will also add in the reference it will also change the reference when the current will flow extra to control the current this reference will change and it will adjust the level of this IC it is connected to control pin C pin if we see here pin number 4 and pin number 3 these are connected through this C532 capacitor the voltage level will be switched to control pin the current level and the voltage level will be monitored and it will control the function of this IC and it will control the duty cycle at pin D to apply drive pulses to this transformer now what we will check in this case if we don't don't find the voltage at this point here we have to check this 5 volt m plus 5 volt this m plus 5 volt from where they are coming they are coming from this main power supply from this basic power supply standby power supply m plus 5 volt m plus 5 volt when this ic will first power supply standby power supply will start working this 5 volt here m plus 5 volt signal is applied to this transistor and this voltage will reach at this IC so we should find this uh, voltage here if we don't find voltage here what will happen we have to check this transistor Q571 it is a switch we have to check this voltage we have to check 12 volts zener we have to check optocoupler and we have to check this LM358 actually it does not become unserviceable just sometime we are missing the feed uh, VCC we have to check the VCC for VCC we have to check this transistor then remote on command from this transistor we have to verify this transistor from this portion we have to verify these zeners this zener this zener and VCC capacitor here so we have to verify just only X pin control pin that is disable pin and then we have to check these components and I hope so this problem will be solved from here from this point and from this feedback loop if this feedback loop is okay then I sh think because the original IC is 258 
even though frequency and pin for pin compatibility is same then you have to check this IC again and if any capacitor here making problem might be we can find some issue and the other solution it is just only a trick you can open pin number one and two you can open this optocoupler from one and two from this side connect in parallel to the second optocoupler it is idea and i hope so this idea will work remove this u53532 from input side pin number one and two and now take this pin number one connect to the open ended pins of this optocoupler one and two connect parallel to the other i am sure you will find output here because we have to drive the optocoupler so optocoupler the second optocoupler is working this optocoupler is working so in this way you can find some output here if the ic is good this technique this trick to power on this ic just only verify x pin and connect this optocoupler and verify the pin voltage at pin v vcc pin if you don't find output you have to verify this portion this ic and these components i hope so this video is good for you if it is good like subscribe and share if you want thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh